They've got their lives, but not much else after a devastating fire. WOWT 6 News' Chase Moffat spent the afternoon following up on a fire that forced a family to move all the way across town as they're trying to rebuild. Tonight, that family is asking for your help. We've been real close. And like I said, the help from the community. And it's just been very heartwarming. In the worst of times during a person's life, it's often said that we can look at the situation as being refined by the fire. A phrase that hits a little too close to home for Helen Mishke and her family. Here's what's left after what a literal fire did to the family house in October. And I, I said, I'm, I'm in the library. I can't, I can't pick up the phone. And then uh, they said, your house is on fire. And so, you know, your heart drops. And it was, <laughs> I'm going to cry. Thankfully, no one was injured. But since the fire, mom and dad and seven kids ages 4 to 14 moved across town, adjusting to a new life. We're um, out at my brother's house in Elkhorn. Good. That's been a little bit hectic with the kids, sure. uh, getting used to the morning routine. So we broke into one of the windows and we we're like, get out, get out, you know, there's a fire. That's Katie Meester. She's a close friend and a neighbor who didn't think twice to jump in to make sure everyone was safe when the fire did break out. But now she's helping the family once again by hosting a spaghetti fundraiser next weekend to support the family because after the smoke settled here, there was another setback. Our house got broken too over the weekend. And uh, so we lost everything inside the house and the few things that we had in the garage, you know, like the lawnmower and some tools, now that's also gone. Yeah, I might not be able to buy her a stove personally or buy her a refrigerator, but if I can get the community to come together and help me do that, that would be great. But in that refining process, a new perspective. It really has given me more faith in in people that I probably have lost for a long time. Yeah, it's been a tough run for that family for sure. You heard about that theft as well over the Halloween weekend. But here are the details for that spaghetti feed and silent auction. It's Saturday, November 14th, located at Liberty Christian Center at 60th and L Street. It runs, runs from 4 to 7 p.m., $8 for adults. Children 5 to 12 are $4. Kids 5 and under are free. Now, uh, the family says they're keeping their chin up despite their circumstances, especially leaning on that tight-knit community. Matt. All right, there's also a GoFundMe page set up, Chase. I know you told us about that. We have the links and all the details we just mentioned at WOWT.com. Thanks for that live report, Chase.